finally some snow in BC. So I've waited since October with my brand new snowmobile uh, and haven't taken it out. So tomorrow I'm going to take it out and I want to take uh, you guys along with what it's like to spend all your life savings on a snowmobile, what it's like to get it onto the truck, what it's like to get it to um, the place where we go sledding and what it's like to bed it in. Uh, so yeah, should be fun. There's 50 centimeters coming down uh, tonight. So it could be quite chaotic tomorrow. So I think it'd be a really fun video. All right, cheers. Okay, so the first thing I get asked is how do you take your sled around? So I'm going to show you what I have in my truck. So this is the ramp. What do I do? Pull out the bottom. Shift over the top. And then these little clamps go on here just to stop the like ramp coming up and then um, some people connect something here down to there I don't tend to do that which almost costs me my face but see how it goes so here she is this is the 2024 uh, turbo um, and it's a Summit X Expert uh, and it's a 165 which is for BC kind of like the, the perfect size and the perfect sled. Um, so you don't really get much better in this, that's what I mean when I spent all my money on it. Um, what I had before was a 2020 Gen 4 naturally aspirated um, and really the only changes that I can see at the moment, we can talk about it later, is this is really nice that if you're doing your oil and um, you can now just fill it in there, excuse all the mess I've made already. Um, so this is a separate compartment. It's got a new track uh, in, the, in the Gen 5s and this is quite cool here. So um, you, you can move these rubbers over and you can change how the sled feels. It's on the narrower setting because the, uh, the ski is going inwards. So we'll see what that's like tomorrow. That's, um, there's also geometry changes and obviously it's it's the same kind of power than the other one, but it holds the power higher up, so it's good for higher altitudes. And uh, yeah, love it. See what it's like. Let's uh, get it on the truck. Always wrap this around your left hand or a hand. Don't, you know, tend not to touch to yourself. Right, let's see how we go. Please start. I'm going to let it warm up. And we'll talk about what you need to do to break in tomorrow, but. Right now, let's just get a little bit of heat. to myself so I'm not used to this sled but oh. neighbours absolutely love me here like so uh, and then you clamp it down. So I'm just going to pull this clamp and now two wheels are clamped down or ski so it won't come off the back. Feels a little tight so I'll loosen it off a bit. Boom. All right, now that isn't going anywhere so let's go fill it up. <laughs> <laughs> right, got premium. Um, yeah, stay away from ethanol. It basically just bloats the fuel. It's no good for performance engines. Uh, so that's why I've come across town to, to get this stuff. Uh, these are 36 litre tanks um, and they burn. I worked out with my last sled, which wasn't a turbo, but every litre it burns where well, you can get three kilometres. So it's mental. So you think 36 litre tank could do 120k plus, uh, best case. 
Um, but yeah, sledding is expensive and we'll go into that later. Um, it takes fair fuel there. So it's nothing worse than getting to a trailhead and you've forgotten to top up the night before. So carry some fuel and also for your buddies as well. Got to be prepared in this. All right, see you tomorrow. Sledding starts early and particularly early this day because well sort of three four different reasons one every man and their dog is going to Whistler because it's a 50 centimeter pow day and uh, there hasn't been any snow so uh, you'll see it's just past six traffic's already going by me oh it's another sledder um, number two is I need to get to my area early enough so I'm also competing with the sledders for a spot because I'm going to a place called Sprout that uh, probably has about 40 parking spots so it's limited and then uh, number three uh, I want to do a heat cycle before my um, my friends get there so I want to warm up the sled really nicely probably do about 5 10 K and then cool it right down um, and then go off again you don't have to do this according to the um, skidoo manual but uh, but it's something that I think would be quite good to do. and finally I want a Tim Horton so let's go there now can I have a sausage and bacon farmer's wrap meal with a hash brown and a meat and <coughs> coffee and one cream? And that's it, thank you. That's it? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. I challenge any of you to do that. Go to a drive through make one order and don't get any questions back. Sounds easy, doesn't it? But give it a go. Good day. Bye. Yes. All right. To the trail and there we are <clears throat> it's 6 35 we are in traffic this is the joys of Whistler and uh, living near a mountain Wow okay it's 7 a.m. And uh, the parking lot is full. It was bang on seven o'clock and uh, Sprout, where I really wanted to go today, was full. So we're going down to Brandywine, which I didn't want to do because Brandywine is the uh, biggest snowmobile area here. I actually have a pass, so it's free for me. But uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people there, considering what I've just seen here. Um, okay, on to the next. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I think this is the last parking lot on the left, so yeah, not, not too bad if you can see that. Loads of people down there, but oh well, we've got somewhere to sled. this break in there's basically four rules don't over rev it don't overheat it don't go at one constant speed and make sure you keep you vary your speed and keep wrapping the sled so that's what we're going to do for the next 5k it's going to be really fun to watch i also want to see if you can hear this just listen to the turbo on this it's so good <laughs> It's going to be 5k to get back so I'm going to head back and listen to the turbo, that's all I can say. Come back, done about 10k. I'm uh, gonna cool this right off. And I can't do this whilst holding my phone. What's quite nice about the Gen 5s is these bits just fall off. So that's come off. And uh, 
yeah that's just come off so I'm gonna let this cool probably for about 20 minutes and then that should be the main part of the break-in I've done about 10k there's still a little bit of heat here but um, the end will be much much cooler so I'm hoping it'll just be on a couple of bars that's good enough for me let's have a look just about started up so it's cold okay some free bars so there's still a bit of a uh, bit of heat in there but I'm happy with that I'm gonna be going like fast then slow then fast because I just need to play with all the RPMs yeah so uh, let's go and listen to my turbo <laughs> The skis are very narrow on this. Yeah, it's quite tippy. So it's really tippy. Yeah. And uh, nothing to do with my snowmobiling, of course. <laughs> Usually when I come up here it's all cloudy and I can't see a thing but oh there's Worcester over there <laughs> you know I got two million views for that crazy. it's crazy and then other people are creating the same meme I love it it's so funny <laughs> Oh, there is guys ahead, okay. Those Greeks back there were really bad. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we went and had a look. It's not open. Yeah. Um, but I'm breaking this in, so I just want to go up the trail and yeah. just want to put some kilometers on it. Oh, yeah. He's trying to say is get the fuck out of the way, cat! <laughs> <laughs> Lots of stucks everywhere. <laughs> I think what we should probably do is go to the right. Over there. Yeah. Just going for it. This guy is stuck over there trying to get across, which I'm just not up for today. So we're going to take it easy, stick to the right. Maybe just stick on the flats. <laughs> Speed and power. <laughs> oh, that, that got the heart going. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> what a ball! <laughs> <laughs> you 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 went for like the biggest gap. <laughs> that was amazing, Cam. Commitment. <laughs> Didn't get very far. I mean, at least you got over the water. Let's uh, wrap it out. I'll uh, give you a pull. One, two. That'll do. Nice. Problem. That's a problem. <laughs> so, thank you, Cam. So, this is the progress. Uh, not sure we're looking too healthy down there. It looks like we hit rock bottom uh, and just ice. So, um, story continues. We'll give it a shake. That's the story of the day. Everyone is stuck. <laughs> so I think we'll go back. Decent clip of the day, I'm happy. gone from one tree there. <laughs> Quite stuck in this one. Not as bad as me though, I definitely win stuck of the day. Let's see all the tracks. Wall can get stuck in another tree. Oh, nice. I thought while Cam's digging, I could be really helpful and talk about my own snowmobile. How does that sound, Cam? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> this thing, the turbo, I don't know if it's as much the turbo as the track, but it just goes up 
everything. And maybe that's to do with it. Maybe spins up to RPM quicker or tracks more rigid. I, I don't know. And when you're breaking it in, it's it's weird. Like the um, the turbo actually starts to come alive. Like in the first 20k, I wasn't really feeling the turbo kick in or getting the sounds. But maybe because like turbos need heat. Um, but now it just it seems to spool up really quickly, and it just sounds amazing. This is another little benefit, warming gloves and hands. Oh. <laughs> Get our snow flaps. That attaches onto the back of here. Essentially what it does is you get the snow kick up on the flat up over here. And this is the, the radiator. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Be honest, how did you manage that? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Lots come to the rescue. If you more the merrier, you're free. Usually is, eh? Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bring a glove. <laughs> Thank you. Holy. <laughs> It is a chaotic day, isn't it? It's definitely time to go home. Let's have a look at the day. 57.5 breaking in. 85% that was. Interesting. I guess we'll do a really cringy summary of the day. I guess what went well today was the bedding the sled in, like going up the trail, then down and letting it cool down. I, I probably did about 20, 25k on the trail before any pal so that worked overall this i love <coughs> love the sled i mean uh, we had a bit of mixed emotions today because i i really thought i ruined the ar on seems okay uh, i cracked that little bit on the top panel but nah i think it's just one of those things so yeah i got stuck in a creek cam got stuck about 10 times and then uh at the end, Cam almost came off the trail on the way down. That would have just been disastrous. And I think when the day is getting like that, we just kind of said, let's just go home. Like, <laughs> just if, if your day starts to go bad and a couple of things, just, just go home sometimes. There's always tomorrow. So we are going to the gas station and I'm just going to see how much fuel 57K use. I guess it's going to be about 15 litres. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, so it's time to place our bets. No way, sled friends! Oh damn, I'm 15... Oh shit, this... This girl drinks. Oh <laughs> shit, 20 litres. And I've done a 57k. Oh wow, okay.